Good afternoon. I am about to go and get some food before I go into work, but I figured I would come on here and say hello and tell you guys that I am very excited because I have been doing so well at the gym. It is unreal. Like you guys would not even believe it. I have lost almost 40 pounds. I put a community post about this already, but I am very proud of myself because I lost 40 pounds, mother flipper, because I was so fat. Two years ago and a year ago, I was so fat and so out of shape and I felt terrible. It was the worst feeling in the world. And you know what made me really mad? I was told I was going to have motivation. I was told that people were going to help me and get me to a good spot and do things with me and help me, you know, build myself up and stuff. And they never did. And it pisses me off to this day because I got told that I was going to get help and I got lied to. And so guess what I'm going to do now? I'm just going to focus on myself because since I have been able to have the motivation to do things on my own and I'm actually doing really good on my own, I'm starting to realize how shitty those people were that they said that they were going to help motivate me and get me going. It's always good to have someone to help motivate you, but whenever people lie and say that they're going to do it and then they never help you and then you only rely on their motivation, that's what's going to get you stuck. And guess what? I'm glad that I did not fall into that trap. I got told several times that people were going to go and exercise with me and they were going to go to the gym with me and they were going to, you know, give me some enthusiasm to go and take care of myself and do the things that I'm needing to do in order to take care of myself. But guess what? They never did it. All they wanted to do was sit in the living room, smoke weed, smoke cigarettes, watch TV all goddamn day on my fucking internet, by the way. And they didn't want to do a goddamn thing. But guess what? I'm doing better than them at this point because I actually do the things that I'm supposed to do. I have paid what I've needed to pay. Oh, and on top of that, my credit score went up, muff. So I am doing great. Like motivation is starting to come to me now because my credit score went up, my uh, weight has gone down. Like things are starting to work out in my favor. And it is so good to have that motivation. And I wish that other people would have that motivation as well, because I think it would be good for everybody to have someone that says, you can do it. I believe in you and I'm proud of you. Nobody, unless it was like my mom or my grandparents or, you know, my, my buddy and his family and stuff like that. Like they're the only people who have said that they're proud of me and that I'm doing a great job and they want me to keep pushing to do the right thing. And you know what? I love the hell out of all of you because you guys have been the real friends that I needed for motivation. But the people who just wanted to sit there and just watch me struggle and take advantage of me, fuck you. That's what I say to you. I don't even care if this video is monetized at this point. I want to get that shit out because you know why? I am doing so much better than what they think that they're doing. And I am just laughing my freaking ass off, dude. I am doing so good. I feel so much better. I feel like that I'm just a whole completely different person. And I love the euphoria that's going through me right now. I think that people need to have that motivation to get up there and do that. Like what I just did, how I was just screaming at the top of my lungs saying like, F you, you're the, you're the problem, not me and this and that. Of course, I've had cer certain problems. I'm not just saying that like I have to rely on all those people. But whenever I got lied to and it felt like that I was all alone and I didn't get any support, like it was just so hard to want to go and exercise and do those things. But I don't know, something has clicked in my brain and since I actually got motivation from my own family and my own family is telling me like, hey, eat like this so you can lose weight or hey, get to the gym, get those gains going and stuff. It just, it feels good, it feels empowering. It feels like that I'm actually worth something. And I wish that other people would realize that too. If you're in your mid thirties and you're wanting to be a lazy bum and act like you're in, you're in your early twenties, and you just want to sit there and not do anything with yourself, you are wasting your life. You need to get out there and do something. I am almost 30 years old, and I do not want to be a lazy piece of shit sitting on the couch 
watching TV all day, smoking weed, and smoking cigarettes and stuff like that. No, that's not a life for me. Whenever I'm in my 30s, I want to be able to be calm. I, I want to have respect for my house. I want people, if people come over to my house, I want them to have respect for my house. I want to be a normal 30-year-old, not a lazy piece of shit. And unfortunately, I have been around those people for way too long. And now that I've actually gotten out and I've been getting those gains going and going to the gym and feeling better because I've been exercising and stuff, I've realized that I have been wasting my time with people like that. And I need to change who I hang out with and who I interact with. So what I would recommend to y'all is if you're wanting to go and lose weight and take care of yourself and do the things that you're needing to do, go and do it. You guys need to take care of yourself. Because if you get like me, like two years ago, whenever I was first reacting to Skibbity Toilet and I was all fat with four chins and stuff like that, that was a miserable feeling. And I feel like that if people can just go to the gym for about two hours a day and feel that euphoria that you would feel whenever you get done with your workout, people will realize, hey, I can't just sit here all day. I need to go out and do something and take care of myself because otherwise I'm gonna be the fat lard that's sitting with my vape and my cookies and stuff at my computer, a whole big mess and shit like that. And it, it's not gonna be a healthy lifestyle for you. Like you, you will not be happy, you will be miserable. I promise you, you will be miserable. So I figured I'd just get on here real quick and rant. I'm pretty sure that this video is demonetized as hell because I've I've been spouting out the F word quite a bit. But if it's not demonetized, woo, ad revenue. But uh, I just wanted to get that out there. Like, I'm very excited that I've been losing weight. And I'm very excited that things are starting to look up in my favor. I hope things are work looking up in your favor, too. Like, 2024 has been, a, it had a rough start. But 2024 is starting to get a little bit better and I think I'm a little bit more motivated for 2025 because there's a lot of things that were kind of affecting me and the way that I was feeling about going into the next year but you know right now I feel pretty damn good I don't know what it is but as soon as I went to Florida and then I came back like I've just been motivated to just do anything like I'm, I'm just ready to go I'm I'm happy I'm I'm pumped I'm pumped up dude like, I am ready for the next year. I don't know why, but I'm just so happy right now. Like, everything is just going my way, and I feel great. So, I figured I'd get that out there. I hope that that was a little bit of motivation for your day. I know I didn't really talk too much about motivation, but I want people to know that if you're going out there to the gym and you're trying to take care of yourself, or if you're just trying to eat healthier and you're just trying to lose weight, or, you know, whatever it is to try to better yourself, I'm proud of you. I promise you, if you're trying to go, like if you're under 18, you're in school, you're trying to get through a test and stuff, I am proud of you for putting forth the effort to get through it and get your studies done. If you're trying to lose weight, I'm proud of you for going to the gym. If you're trying to take care of yourself and buy a house and have a family and stuff, I am proud of you. And you know what? If people would say that more often, maybe we would have more happiness in this world. 